Right, yeah, I'm going to do a bit of filming today, I think, if I can help, if I can get a bit. Right, so today's job is the inside of this. Um, we're going to be taking Mel scale off and profiling it, and we're using... That's got a bit of paint in it from the last job we did, but that's steel grit. And it bounces back and it hurts, so what I've got on today is two pair of overalls, my normal clothes. These are fire retardant, so they've got quite a bit of protection against it. But I've also also put some rubber around my legs, taped my trousers up. Um, your shoes always get knackered because what happens with it being a concave, or is it concave? I don't know what word is. But as, it, as you're hitting top here, shots flying back down and it's hitting your feet and your legs and it hurts. So that's reasoning being why I'm doing that. In fact, this is the second day at it. Usually you can get half, you can get halfway through an half a day, in a day, two sections. Um, I ain't really got out to show. I can't show what I've profiled already. But this is what we've got set up. We've got as sucker. There's a little hole at the bottom down there. And we managed to put a bit of flexi pipe on sucker to show in all. And we're trying to shut, suck shot up. So what we've got to do is when we've blasted so much down there, is blow out shot to the back. This gets it and reclaims it, drops it in there, sieves it and stuff. Gets dust out in it. That's um, that's what we normally got on end of this sucker. So how it works is. <laughs> It sucks, it sucks through there obviously and it takes its shot up through there but if that gets put into the bottom it chokes it because it can't, it needs airflow to keep it moving so what happens is that pipe goes over there, you tape it to it or whatever and see it gap here, it goes all the way down it goes all the way down I don't know if my camera's going to pick that up so there's a little gap there that's that other pipe inside so it'll grab air from there so it doesn't so if you cover that up it can keep on flowing media up because that's what we figured out yesterday with uh, with flexi when flexi is on if you put if you stick it in and it sucks too much up it clogs pipe so it still needs an airflow so we tried modifying it a little bit by putting little gaps in it so you just cover that up when you want it to suck I'll put some more tape on that. Uh, are we there? And that's saying, what's that? That's, I don't even know, I think it's saying 10 bar, 12 bar. I don't even know what we're running at. I think compressor sat at 12 bar. So 175 PSI. Uh, compressor's something like 2,500 CFM, but um, we're restricted to nozzle which is a 1050 and it's biggest nozzle i can get i can't get any bigger so i think flow on that is a minimum air requirement of 550 cfm so I'm, yeah i'm holding on i'm holding on for dear life it's just when i say this is probably the most harshest job that i do i don't think there will be another blasting job heart there that's any more harsher than this i'm confined space trained got my tickets and everything We've just done a gas monitor test. We can't really do much with gas monitor because you're supposed to wear a gas monitor while you're working. But obviously, if I'm getting prepared like this, and I'm getting I'm getting shot to bits, that gas monitor's not going to last two minutes in there. So that's the reason why we can't have that in there. So every every time we stop to fill pot, it's obviously getting vented anyway. So it's always getting vented, and it's a brand new tank. It's not had nought in it. But obviously, when there's rust. Or there's oxidization on inside it causes some sort of gas or something that you can't you're not supposed to breathe it anyway so that's why we have to have it vented all the time obviously and to get shut at dust that med bite blaster so i want to see if i can get you a bit of footage today but I, I, it visors take a pounding my, my camera takes a pounding everything takes a pounding in there it's it's quite it's a really harsh job i know I don't think there'll be another guy on internet that will do a video like this or be able to get a video like this that's why because I know my camera me my lens is gonna knock her up hit Chris trying to hide he's he's other blaster <laughs> he works up in top unit he's doing um 
Is it what? What is it? You do smaller stuff. Huh? You do smaller stuff. Right. All and all stuff. In fact, this is the sort of stuff he does. See, he's got to have to burn this. Put it in incinerator to burn all rubber off it. And this is the sort of stuff they'll be doing today. He's got that, 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 and uh, he's got a few more bits. He's actually got to do it inside of one of them. I've just done inside of one of them on a tat on a on a job for these guys. Um, I weren't allowed to film it, but that's just because it was on that side, so I'm allowed to film this one. So what happens is, I don't know if you can see it, it was rubber lined, so you get water jetters in, cut all the rubber out in it, and then you just, they get in and burn the rest of the stuff out, warm it up, cut it out, done. What else we got? Oh, we've got another tanker there to do soon, and that's that to uh, the autoclave, cave, clave, or whatever it is. Yeah, it's all painted and that now. But yeah, I think this is about fifth, sixth one of these tankers we're on with. That's why I've done many, many videos because I've been putting bread on the table by doing these, I suppose. Right, better make a start.
watch that filmed but I've done about four or five of them on bounce now so that's probably why videos have been a bit light um, but that one's over and done with there's one more to do but that's not for a couple of weeks now so I might be able to have a bit of a break off and, and get back to normal service get doing some, I don't know, some houses or something I've been bouncing work, I've been just back healing stuff because I've been needing to get that out of the way it's, it's a really harsh environment that, that is probably the worst kind of blasting or the maximum that's on top end at scale like best spec, best mesh grade just harsh, just really harsh, really bad and uh, I feel for guys that's working that sort of machine all day every day it's, it's just hard that's I think it's two and a half thousand CFM compressor but obviously I've got to restrict that to um, and it's 12 bar so it's 175 psi it's quite a lot it's bear in mind that my pot's running at 100 psi 125 so kickback pressure on that is quite high and you've got to look at my arms I can feel them. yeah you, you know you've done a day's graph when you've been on that but my um, my restrictions are my nozzle, pot and everything, and pipes and that, they're all right. Maximum you can buy is a 1050. So I've got a 1050 power plus, which is uh, minimum air requirement is 550 CFM. 550 CFM at 175 PSI. If anybody can do thrust back pressure on that, let me know in comments because I want to know how much pressure I'd like to know. Obviously there's 175 psi at nozzle, but what's that what's that steel shot getting shot at it? What is it what is it doing when it's hitting it? That shot then is bouncing back because it's a big dish. Everything inside is just no matter no matter where, where I put my head, or my arms, or my legs, I still get obliterated with it. I still get absolutely hammered with ricochet and it's it's not a friendly ricochet, and you've been watching a video of mine like creep up in views, and it's just hit a million views. How nuts is that? A million people watch one of my videos. Yeah, it's nuts. But I, I want to thank everybody for the, to, for, I don't know, support and watching videos, I suppose. Yeah, it's cool. To even think that there's that many people that want to, that's interested in sandblasting. It's totally nuts. Billion people, eh? Million views. Yeah, keeping you eye on. It's all the trouble with this van. It's quite wide. It's keeps you on your toes, concentrating all the time. It's not something I like doing, especially now I'm way one after doing them anyway yeah they're uh, they're one of the hardest jobs oh yeah I'm just cut into my work it's alright it's all good in the hood thanks for watching everybody catch you on next time